The American aircraft carrier fleet is a source of national pride and the worst nightmare for any potential foe. The largest and riskiest class of aircraft carriers, named for the 38th President of the United States, Gerald Rudolph Ford, will be covered in this video. Compare the Nimitz's 1,092 feet in length and 256 feet in width to the Ford's 1,106 feet in length and 256 feet in width. Also consider the Ford's heavier 100,000 tons than the Nimitz's 97,000 tons. It will eliminate any reliance on foreign military bases and allow the US Navy to quickly deploy its aircraft wherever they are required. Here are some of the biggest benefits that the newest aircraft carrier has to offer. More sorties overall. The number of sorties conducted each day is one of the essential indications for an aircraft carrier. A new braking system was added to the Ford's design, which replaced the steam-powered catapults with the most effective electromagnetic system. Additionally, this gave the deck extra space, which is clearly advantageous for unhindered airplane takeoff. The Navy wants to boost sorties by 33% to 160 sorties per day in normal circumstances with the potential to increase to 270 sorties in critical situations. Enlarged Cockpit The Ford's deck area is more than four acres. However, it is used now far more cleverly. By boosting the daily number of air wing flights, it enables the simultaneous operation of attack fighters, airborne radars, jammers, and, of course, drones. Fewer personnel requirements the majority of an aircraft carrier's operating expenses are related to personnel, because so many people require supplies. The Gerald R. Ford was created to replace labor with technology, cutting costs and the number of crew members required by 20%. Therefore, the Ford is unlikely to have problems with personnel. Efficiency in handling weapons. Engineers on the Ford significantly sped up critical decision-making in emergency scenarios by automating most tasks and easing the deployment of combat forces stationed on the aircraft carrier. Low maintenance costs. Costs both offshore and in shipyards are impacted by maintenance. The Ford's design includes some elements that will drastically cut down on maintenance needs. For example, the aircraft carrier's reactors are far easier to repair than the Nimitz's. In comparison to their predecessors, the multifunction radar and electromagnetic catapult are also enormously simpler to maintain. The Navy will save billions of dollars thanks to these other new technology applications. One of the most reliable and effective combat systems in the American arsenal today, the Gerald R. Ford is practically unsinkable. The Gerald R. Ford aircraft carrier costs the taxpayers more than $13 billion. There are presently five ships in the class. Two aircraft carriers are slated to start construction in 2023 and 2027. One aircraft carrier has already been commissioned, one has been launched, and one more is being built. What are your thoughts on this massive aircraft carrier? Which feature most impressed you? Please share your thoughts with us. Also, if you liked this video, please like it, subscribe to the channel, and enable notifications to stay in touch. We'll see you soon.